Hello. I don't even know what night it is. I think it's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Um, it's late and I haven't done a live in a long time, but I'm at the studio. So um, I got a new rug and I think it's cutting off my head. Uh, oh, let me make sure I've got it on my iPad. Give me a second. But anyway, I got a new, uh, it's hot in here, rug and, um, and it's got this beautiful teal color. And I just went to TJ Maxx and got a couple of uh, pillows, but I wanted to make one with Chalk Couture. So I have got just what I want to do. Hang on. Come on. Whew, I need some air. I didn't turn the air back up. Okay, here we go. Okay, so um, this is our lumbar pillow. And I need to stand back. It's a really nice size. It's a beautiful, nice, heavyweight canvas. So um, I'm going to uh, do a design on that. Now, inside, so that the ink doesn't bleed through, we have these nice little sticky pads or mats. Um, this one was the length of the lumbar, but for some reason I cut it and they're meant to be cut, but I'm gonna put the other piece of it on the end here. So now my whole pillow is covered uh, with the sticky mat and none of my ink will bleed through. Let me get this in there. And I'm using actually an old design this was a huge one. It's like 24 by 24. And, um, hang on. Oh my gosh, I need to turn the air up. Um, it was 24 by 24, and I don't need all of that. So I'm going to cut that off, and, or cut it in half, so that I, it will fit on my pillow. Because I wanted an all over design, and um, and so that's why I'm doing that. So I've got a couple people out there, but I can't see who it is. So every, whoever's out there, say hi. Share with your friends uh, if you like my video. Um, so I've already taken the sticky off of it. Because this is the first time. I've had this one a really long time. This is actually a discontinued one. But um, I'm going to use it for the first time. So I'm going to turn the camera down so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to position my design over the lumbar. Ooh, I got to turn up the air real quick. I'm sweating like a pig. Um, okay, so I want to position this over my pillow and press it down so that there's no air bubbles. Okay, now the colors that I'm using are two new and one old because the color that's in my rug is this new teal color, which is so beautiful, and we have a new ink that's called Tide. So I'm gonna use that, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And then I'm gonna use another color called Eucalyptus, which I think blends very nicely with, what happened to my video? Uh, with the teal. And then, of course, the girl's got to have some bling, so I'm going to bring in some bronze. So those are the three colors that I'm going to be using, and, um, and I'm going to mix them some as well. Oops, something's on here. Now, one of the tricks with doing the ink is you don't want to press too hard because there is, uh, unlike a flat surface like a chalkboard or a piece of wood, um, there's no, that's solid. It's not, it's not pushing back. Whereas the fabric, there's, 
even though it's not real thick, there's still a little give, and if you push too hard with your squeegee, then you run the risk of it bleeding through and not giving you as perfect of a design as you would like, okay? So, I'm just making sure I like the alignment here. Now, with the ink also, you've got plenty of time to um, work with your design. Hey, I can finally see people watching. Hi, Darlene. Hi, Kathy. Um, so, you've got plenty of time to work with your ink, whereas the chalk paste, you can't let it dry or it'll mess up your design. So, I am, like I said, I want to kind of have a blended, so I'm just going to kind of put some spots of uh, my ink out there, and then I'm going to blend them kind of all together. I love this color. I am going to kind of work left to right, though. Okay, so there is that color. Here's my Tide. Okay, and now I'm going to get some bronze. I have no idea what this is going to look like, but I don't think I can go wrong with it. Okay, now um, I'm going to get my squeegee, my big squeegee, my handled one. Kathy, I believe you got this on a contest, uh, the handled squeegee. So I'm just going to gently pull it down. I do want to, and, and I may not have enough ink, because the one thing I will say about the fabric is that it uses more product than the paste. And I can tell already I don't have enough on my pillow, so I'm going to have to put some more out here. But I want to go ahead and move this around oh I should have taped the bottom I see I've got some on the bottom already so I'm gonna put that over there and I'm gonna get some more out here just in some areas I try not to mix my colors, but sometimes it just happens. Okay, so I'm going to work with my little squeegee because sometimes I can just do a better job. Are you guys ready for fall? I tell you, I've had so much fun making um, designs, and I'm going to the Labor Day Craft Arts and Craft Festival down in Moorhead, and trying to get some things to take with that. And I just, I just, oh, I just love making. I've never been a huge fall person for decorating, but oh, all these chalk couture designs just. It's hard not to. They're just so beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna get a little more bronze. I'm almost out of this tide, because it's been one of my favorites. Okay, let's see here. Not tide, that was eucalyptus. I found these um, velvet pillows at TJ Maxx that were this dark teal color. $16.99 for a two-pack. I'm going, that's just crazy. That's such a good price, and I'm so happy. Okay, I'm about done here. You just ordered what, Kathy? Hey, Ann, I didn't see you join. 
How's everything in Arkansas? I guess y'all are gearing up for Razorback sports. I know you're a big Razorback fan. Okay, I think I am about done. Oh, the Tide Ink, Kathy, yes. But it looks more blue over here if you look. I might need a little bit more bronze over here. Okay. Okay, it's reveal time, but let this let me get this off my fingers. Okay, and I'm gonna pull it back slowly just so I can see if uh, there are any areas that I want to touch up. Ooh, I like it. Oh, I like it a lot. Oh, that is so pretty. I love it. Let me put this in the sink real quick. Can you guys see it? My, um, my uh, iPad is delayed. So I guess you can see it. Oh my gosh, I love it. Let me see if I can hold it up. I don't know if this, I'm gonna hold it back out. Ooh, my battery's dying. I'm gonna hold it up this way. Can you guys see? See all the different colors? Oh, I love it. That's upside down, I think. And look how easy that was. Oh, so pretty. So that's my Paisley pillow for tonight. I will show you just a glimpse of something I'm working on that I hope to have finish um, tomorrow. This is part of, I did the, um, what do you call that? The Buffalo plaid background. And um, I've got the Merry Christmas up there. And then I'm working on the camper here but um, I went to Hobby Lobby tonight and I've got some little um, string ornaments that I'm gonna hang from the camper. So I, I'm not quite done with it, but I love this buffalo plaid. This was real difficult to do on fabric, but it was super easy to do on this board. So, you know, I don't know. I didn't have a lot of success on the pillows with it. Uh, it was really hard to do, but uh, I love what, how this is turning out on the wood. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and um, please um, share if you're comfortable doing that, and um, I appreciate anything you can do to help promote Chalk Couture. So, um, have a great night, and I will talk to you later. Bye!